Today, people are speaking out about coronavirus concerns in the workplace and new proposed legislation that would compensate people for lost wages as a result of exhibiting symptoms. So some of them still going to go to work because they're going to have to pay their bills. This is a pandemic. Employers should pay. I have two children, so I have to pay for them to go to daycare and I have to take care of them. On the streets of Metro Detroit, growing fears about coronavirus spreading have some increasingly concerned about the potential of running out of paid sick leave, something state lawmakers Darren Cam Camilleri and Abdullah Hamoud have set out to tackle with a bill that would create a state fund to cover coronavirus related testing and treatment and wage loss. Given that this is now rated as a pandemic by uh, the WHO, we want to do whatever we can at the state level to give those benefits to everybody. You don't have to be forced to make a decision of do I need to go to work and try to make that paycheck to pay for the bills, to pay for the food and expenses, or can I sit at home and quarantine myself and take the appropriate public health measures? This woman shopping in Southfield says otherwise the time could soon come when a worker could potentially choose to endanger others' health simply to pay their own bills. Do you support a fund being set up by the state also to help cover medical expenses and lost wages? Absolutely. I, I think the state should step up. Father of two children, Eric Ferguson, also sees this as an urgent crisis that impacts parents who may receive little or no paid sick time to quarantine themselves or their kids. We have to stay at home due to unforeseen circumstances or something we can't control. Um, we should be able to utilize or well, get paid for that. Would you be in support of a law? that would recover lost wages for people? I would. Well, I feel they should you know, be able to stay home and still get paid, you know? State representatives Camilleri and Hamoud say they're working as quickly as they can to get this through the House, then to the Senate and to the governor. We'll bring you the very latest breaking details on this as they happen. Simon Shaykat, 7 Action News. All right.